Hello Year 8, my name is Mr Davis, I'm Head of Design Technology. Currently in DT we have GCSE Product Design, GCSE Built Environment and Level 1 or 2 Engineering on offer. We'll also be taking this opportunity to have a look at some of the careers available having studied one of these subjects. So we'll start firstly with DT Product Design. This is a GCSE course and it's split into two units. Unit one, design and technology in a 21st century written exam. It's two hours long and it's 50% of the qualification. Unit two is a design and make task. Okay, so it's non-exam assessment um, and that's also 50% of the qualification. This would be your coursework where we design and produce a product of your choosing. As part of the Unit 2 section of the course, you'll be asked to design and make a product. Here's an example of a stationary holder. Um, so it's a novelty product. It holds pens, pencils and ruler. Um, there's lots of design and making skills gone into this product. There's woodwork, you've got metalwork, as you can see. Um, if you, you can use a file. Um, there's lots of skills gone into um, cutting with wood and carpentry. Uh, the people actually had to hollow out the inside of this piece of mahogany in order to enable the rulers um, to go in and out at the top. This is a buzz game. It uses the tweezers to fish out the objects in the three wells on top of the shape. So a lot of work has gone into the electronic side of this project and if you touch the sides of the wells with the tweezers there's a big buzz sound and the flashing lights you can see the little red LEDs at the top all flash. This one was a pool table, had a little miniature cue to go with it um, and it actually rotated around and on the other side was an air hockey table. This product was uh, based around the idea of an infinity mirror. It uses um, mirrors and glass and LEDs to make it look like the LEDs reflect forever and ever. Um, a very clever project with excellent results. This product was um, designed for pupils who um, have coloured paper to help them read and write. So the LEDs could be changed um, to different colours and it was tested out to help pupils with their reading and their writing. I think this product speaks for itself. It's a guitar. Um, the pupils bought in the top section uh, but the, the black area you see is all pine um, and there's a lot of work went into sanding this work to get that quality of finish before we put the paint on. Okay, this one was based around um, the USS Enterprise. I don't know if you've uh, into Star Trek, but uh, it was um, a novelty lamp um, to go on her bedside cabinet. I hope you can see we've used a lot of work with the laser cutter engraving, creating finger joints, and we've used our 3D printer to create the um, Enterprise that sits on top. Now. If you are taking product design at GCSE, you will have the opportunity to learn 3D um, CAD software packages. Uh, we use one called Fusion 360, and as you can see at the top right hand side of this PowerPoint, um, you can model your objects in 3D. This can be used to create engineering drawings, Okay, it can be used to experiment with materials, and it also links up to our 3D printers that we have in the workshops. You will also be given ample opportunity to develop your sketch work within design and technology and your annotation and we will be investigating a series of products that already exist. And finally on this page you have a look down the bottom right hand side one of our pupils is looking uh, into Airbus um, as part of the course, you'll be investigating British designers and companies, one of them being Airbus. Engineering is a vocational
final course that we offer in design technology and it's split into three units unit one engineering design controlled assessment which is 25 percent unit two engineering products controlled assessment 50 percent unit three solving engineering problems which is an exam 25 percent within engineering you will be able to use industry standard machine tools okay your teacher will help you through this okay one of these is a lathe and the other one is a milling machine they look really complicated but they fantastic machinery for engineering and working with metal the projects you will be producing in engineering um, there's quite a few of them but these are the main ones bottle biter in year nine towers in year 10 and then we have a lamp in year 11. the lamp is your main project in year 11 which you have to manufacture yourself there's a lot of skill gone into knurling on the metal um, at the bottom and um, you've got electronics your plastic work and woodwork as well combined okay so a lot of work goes on, on on the lathe to produce that metal piece at the bottom okay built environment is our third subject that we offer in dt this is a gcse and it's replacing level one or two construction which we were teaching in design technology this is split into three units unit one is an on-screen exam which is 35 percent of the qualification unit two creating the built environment so that's a practical task which is 40 percent of the qualification and unit three is a case study exploring the built environment and that's 25 percent of qualification on this slide we have some examples of some work that you'll be producing as part of the built environment course investigating household electronics tiling and carpentry we're going to take a moment and have a look at some of the careers in design and technology some key points for you to think about though um, have you enjoyed working with tools and equipment during your project at key stage three do you want to become a carpenter a plasterer an electrician a plumber a painter a decorator uh, do you like being creative do you enjoy designing and modeling using computer aided design if you do enjoy design technology and are thinking about taking one of our subjects these are some of the career opportunities available to you with that current qualification computer aided design technician architect model maker cnc machinist carpenter engineering craft machinist all of these I've taken from the UCAS.com website. Feel free to have a look yourself um, and we hope to see you in technology in year nine.